Hi there, welcome back to another screencast of some drawing in 2D. Today we're going to uh, do something a little different. We're going to move into a three-view drawing. So this is where two of the views, in this case the side view and the top view, are given. And then you must extrapolate and draw a front view over here on the right-hand side. There's just a couple of things that we need to get started with in the beginning. Uh, I am going to be using a different package of AutoCAD than we had used before. I'm going to be using the AutoCAD Mechanical. Now on my computer it is listed under the uh, Windows menu here, AutoCAD Mechanical, and it's listed not AutoCAD 2017 English, this one, the second one down, AutoCAD Mechanical 2017. This is the program that I would like you to use to create these drawings. Now I have that open already and I have already drawn the two views that have been given to us in this drawing right here. So this is the top view as if you are looking down on the object. This is the side view as if you are looking at it from the side. What I've done here is recreated that there's a couple of things that we need to take a look at. Number one is that these two drawings are one inch apart. <coughs> they are spaced one inch apart so that we have adequate space to then create the third drawing over here one inch apart. The other thing is the hidden lines that you see up here. We have not needed hidden lines as of yet in the other drawings that we've done. Uh, what I've done is created a hidden line layer up here. Go to the mechanical layer manager and I've just created a new layer using the new layer tool and I've named it hidden and then I've changed the color. In this case I'm going to change the color to cyan just so that it differentiates itself from the other drawings that we're going to do. And the line type must be listed as hidden on here to create the dotted line. So on this drawing the hidden lines, what you see, these vertical lines here, that's, again, if this is from the side, then we rotate it up and we would see it as this little chunk right here taken out. So these two lines line up exactly with these lines right up here. So these lines transfer straight down and you see these lines here. This hidden line going across the side here is this little ledge. That's the reason why it only extends to this part of the drawing. This part right here has been cut out. So if you can imagine that this part right here is going to be cut out. And then these final hidden lines right here are on either side of the circle. This circle is a hole that's been punched through this whole drawing. So if we're looking at it from the side and we can see straight through it, then from the top down we would need to represent that right here. Uh, these two lines right here and here represent the corners of these angles up top here. So this all transfers right up through there. So now to get started on our third view that we're going to draw over here on the right hand side. I'm going to go back to my zero layer because I'm going to be drawing some lines. But before we start drawing those lines, what we're going to do is use the the construction tools. Now this is why we're going to use AutoCAD Mechanical 2017 because it gives us some tools in the construction area here. What I'm going to do first is the projection and the projection is we have to click on it underneath the construction tool then we click on and this is a way to project as the name suggests. We're going to hover and click in that corner and then we're going to move our mouse up to the top on the right and then click again and we're going to have this as a projection. Now the, the apparent uh, benefit of this is going to show in just a second when what we're going to do is take lines from over here and extend them over to this projection line and then they will project themselves straight down from that line so that we can recreate the other drawing over here. So what that looks like, I'm going to get rid of this for just out of the way. What this is going to look like is we're going to use construction lines. We use either the horizontal most of the time and the vertical sometimes. 
We'll take this horizontal construction line, and you can see that it goes horizontal the whole way across the drawing here. And we're going to click it on the very top of our drawing. You can see what happens is that it comes over to the projection line, and then it projects itself straight down. I'm going to do that on the very bottom corner as well, so that I can get my far outside edges of my drawing there. And now I'm going to use the horizontal tool again, click one on the top there, and one on the bottom of my drawing here. Now what I've done is created the outside most edges of these two drawings by sort of extrapolating or extending it out, projecting it out onto this bottom corner. So now what I can do is use my line tool, which is set up on my zero layer, so it's the same as the white lines over here, and I will use these projection lines, these construction lines, to help me draw that shape of the drawing that was, that was uh, over here and over there. So if I extend that to the top there, over here, what I end up with is this box. Now, if you want to start seeing what this thing starts to look like, you can come up here to the AMCL layer, the construction line layer. We, if we turn that layer off, we turn the, the light bulb off, you can see what it looks like here without those construction lines. So this is the outer shape of these two uh, boxes, the sort of intersection of those two boxes. So now that we've created the outside edges, now what we're going to do is start trying to tackle some of the more internal cuts and everything that come across from one side to the other. And we need to sort of try and represent them over here. So we'll start with this front little projection here. This is the outside edge of it, and this is what it would look like in the top view. So what we need to do is try and figure out a way to make this show up over here. So again, we'll use the construction tool, the horizontal lines, and we'll make a line here, and we'll make a line at the bottom here. What that will do is tell us this little corner that needs to be cut out, because this part does not have that extending the whole way down to the bottom, and this part cuts it out in the front. So what we are going to do is take our line tool and draw those two lines in and then trim the lower edges of this box. So if you were looking at this from the from the side, the front, as we're looking at it this way, from the side it's cut off here and up here that dotted line shows us that there is nothing down below here, it's cut. So that's what we're going to remove that little corner right there. So now we can look at, let's say, this part over here, this little cutout that's up here. Now what we're going to do is have to remove some area over here. So we'll go to the construction lines, horizontal. We have this part, and now that corner right here is this corner right here. So this is where it starts, right there. Now, if you were looking at this, it would be up here a little bit, right where this guy is. This corner represents this corner. So we need two of these lines, one right there and one right there. And that's going to represent a, take it, a, a chunk taken out of this part right there. So we're going to get our line tool again, and that corresponds to this one. So we come over this way, down this way and over this way, and that's this part right here. So again, we can trim this. Uh, in fact, we don't need to trim that because that's going to be a solid line on the outside edge there, so pardon me, don't need to trim that. Now, <coughs> this is the point where we, we do start to get a lot of lines on here, and occasionally I feel like it's a good idea to just go ahead and delete some of these because they really do get in the way so that we can start seeing our drawing a little bit better again. We can always add them back in. It's, a, it's not too difficult to do that.
So now let's take a look at this chunk right here. This vertical face is this piece right here. So we need a way to see where that's going to show up. So our construction line that was right here, we need this guy, and then we need this corner right here. So this is as if we're looking at a face right here. So we're going to have a line that comes over here and down like this to represent this face that we're seeing in this direction. So if we were looking here, then we would see this rectangular face right there. Now we're almost done with this. We have this corner taken care of. We have this corner taken care of. We need the very front of the piece right here. And again, that very front is only on the this side. It's only going to be on the right-hand side. So we just need a construction line at the corner there that then gives us this piece right there. So we have a piece right there. That's the front of the drawing. That's this section right there. We have the front. We have this cutout. We have this cutout. We only now need um, some lines across the back to show where this line is going to be right there, this little corner. And we need some places where the top and bottom of this hole is going to be as well. So because these lines are very close, I'm going to get rid of these. And we're going to draw, we'll draw the top and bottom of the circle first because it seems a little bit easier. We'll go to the horizontal tool. I'll use my quadrant and snap onto the top of it and snap onto the bottom of it. Now because this is a hidden line, hidden lines again are where we can't see we can't see through the block, so we have to put these dotted lines in there to represent what would be in there if we could see through it. So now, because this is a hidden line, this, this uh, hole being punched through it, we have to change our layer down to our hidden layer, and then we're going to draw a line that goes the whole way through from one side to the other. That is the top and bottom of the hidden layer. Now again, this corner right here represents a change in direction, which means that we need to put that corner in through this drawing. So we'll have a line, uh, a construction line to give us this point right here. And then we'll grab our regular line tool, and make sure we're snapping in the right place, drag that across, and snap over onto that side. Now there's just one more hidden line that we need to take care of, and that is this chunk that's taken out up top here. This goes the whole way from top to bottom, because there's nothing that we are seeing here. So that goes the whole way from top to bottom. You can see that our hidden lines here represent that. It goes the whole way from the top down through the bottom. We need to represent that on this section as well. So we would see that this section is cut out, and this little vertical line here needs to continue down the whole way to the bottom of the drawing. So we have our hidden line layer. We're going to grab our line tool. And we are going to continue this line down through to the bottom so that we have that all completely shown there. And once that's done, we can hide our construction lines and you start to see what this would look like from the third view. If we're looking at it from the side here, you have the hole punched through. That is this line and this line going the whole way from, from left to right through the object. We have this extra piece right here, which is this piece right up here, which is this extra section right there. Our very front is right there. This piece and this piece. And then this extra chunk taken out up top here is this side right there with this hidden line coming down through, also represented on this side right there like that. Okay.